Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian Lucas, and I'm a poet. And uh, in this video, I want to read to you a poem from a book I recently published on Amazon called All About Scientology. And this is my ninth Scientology haiku. And this one is for Doug and Marcus. Scientology, broken promises are all it will ever keep. Okay, the inspiration for this one came from watching a broadcast on the uh, YouTube channel, Dazed But Not Confused. Dazed But Not Confused is run by an ex-Scientologist named Doug Kramer. He was an actor at one point. Uh, he, uh, he was second gen, raised in the church uh, of Scientology. Um, his parents got him into it, which is the um, case with a lot of this stuff. Well, uh, he and a friend of his a while back were doing these... Uh, broadcast together. His friend is Marcus Sawyer. That's the Marcus uh, in it, who uh, Marcus Sawyer is a musician. He was also a member of the Church of Scientology for a little while. He was on staff in Los Angeles, and I, I, I think that's where they met. I'm not for sure. So um, I was watching a broadcast they do together called Backflash Fridays, and they were talking about how they got recruited into the staff, into their staff positions, because at one point Doug Kramer was recruited for staff, but he uh, ended up not doing it. Uh, I don't know this, the, I, I don't recall the circumstances right off the top of my head. Um, and uh, so, was Marcus? Marcus was also recruited into the uh, uh, into staff, uh, into a staff position at the uh, L.A. area org organization, and uh, both of them said the same thing when they were regged or recruited or whatever. They were both recruited by a attractive females. That's who they interacted with. And they were given promises. Uh, Doug is, like I said, Doug is an actor, right? And uh, as we all, as as people who follow uh, ex Scientologists and Scientology knows, they are big in the celebrity, and they hold acting classes and all this stuff. So it was like a good fit for him. He thought that they would do him some good, but instead. Uh, they discouraged him, saying, "Oh, you're never, you're never going to be a, a big person. You know, you know, you're never going to be famous, and you know, just, just probably just really, really, really damaged the man's confidence in himself." And uh, uh, they promised Marcus a lot of the same things. Uh, you know, he's a musician. Well, you'll, you know, we'll support your career and all this stuff. Instead, they wanted him to be a a slave. Um, I, I have a lot of respect for these two guys. Uh, I really enjoy watching them interact together. They haven't done it for a while. Who knows why? You know, stuff like that happens. The other day, I was watching one and uh, Doug, watching one on Doug's channel, and someone asked him a question about Marcus, and he said they're just doing their own separate things at the moment, which, you know, that happens. Life's series up and down. I hope that they do something soon again. I like seeing them two interact. It's fun. And that's that's the point in a lot of the ways. This is such a, a heavy subject and, and, and it's tragic what these people have gone through. And Gallo's humor, like, like I've said on more than one occasion, Gallo's humor is a way to get yourself through situations. So... Well, uh, this is about the end of it. Thank you for sticking around to the end. You know, I'm trying a new different format here. 
uh, doing this through StreamYard, so bear with me. Um, uh, if you haven't, give me the old thumbs up, you know. Subscribe, share, tell your friends. And also, if you are intrigued by that haiku and the other ones that I've done on Amazon, all about Scientology, if you look it up, it'll be the first one to show up, me. Thank you for watching to the end. And maybe I'll see you in the next one.